Hi everybody, how are you today? Are you enjoying the snow outside? I just looked out the window and it's still snowing. It's beautiful. How many of you have gone out and played in the snow? Yeah, have you had fun? How many of you have gone out and built a snowman? You have? Awesome. How many of you like to have snowball fights? <laughs> did you, did you have a snowball fight? <laughs> Or maybe one of my favorite things to do, did you go and make snow angels? Yeah. How many of you have gone sledding? Or if you're from Canada, like I am, um, how many of you have gone tobogganing? That's what we call sledding. Did you have fun with that? Awesome. How many of you like to come inside and drink hot chocolate to stay warm? Yeah? Well, hopefully if you go outside, you're all bundled up in your scarves and hats and gloves and coats and that you've had a lot of fun. But I thought you might want to come inside and get warm and I have some stories about snow and some crafts and even a game that you can play when you're inside getting warm and looking out the window at the beautiful snow. So the first story I have today is actually from one of my favorite authors. He's a Canadian author and his name is Robert Munch and his story is called So Much Snow. So let's see what this story is about. That kid looks very happy. Oh, there's even a dog. So Much Snow by Robert Munch. A blizzard, a blizzard, a blizzard, said Jasmine's mother. Maybe you should not go to school today. There is no snow now, said Jasmine. And besides, I like snow. I want to go to school. It's pizza day. Dress really warm, said her mother. So Jasmine dressed really warm. Right away, it started to snow very hard. And Jasmine sang. Do you like to sing in the snow? Here she goes. Neat, neat, snowy feet, snowy feet, can't be beat. Neat, neat, snowy feet, snowy feet, can't be beat. Winter time is fun. <laughs> Jasmine walked down the road toward the school. By the time she got to the corner, the snow was up to her knees. And Jasmine kept on singing. Gee, gee, frozen knees, boots are filling up on me. Gee, gee, frozen knees, boots are filling up on me. Winter time is fun. Jasmine walked and walked and walked. And soon the snow was up to her bum. Oh, <laughs> but Jasmine kept on singing. Poor bum, frozen numb, snow so deep, I can't run. Poor bum, frozen numb, snow so deep, I can't run. Winter time is fun. <laughs> Uh-oh, <laughs> she's slowly disappearing. Jasmine walked and walked and walked. She could see the school, but the snow was up to her nose. Jasmine sang. Oh no, it's at my nose. What if the whole world froze? Oh no, it's at my nose. What if the whole world froze? Winter time is fun. <laughs> Maybe not so much anymore. Jasmine stopped walking and the snow kept coming down. And soon only the top of her hat was above the snow. Jasmine sang, Oh, dread over my head. I wish I was home in bed. Oh, dread over my head. I wish I was home in bed. Winter time's no fun. Hmm. She stood there singing for a long time. Finally, the school caretaker came stomping through the snow on a pair of snowshoes. He pulled up Jasmine by her hat and yelled, Ah, frozen kid! Oh. That's pretty funny. Then he went stomping back through the blizzard, pulling Jasmine behind him. Where are we going? said Jasmine. I'm taking you to the nurse's office, said the caretaker. 
we will get you warmed up. And if you are okay, I will take you to your classroom. <laughs> She's frozen solid. So he took Jasmine inside to the nurse's office and dropped her onto a chair. The vice principal came in and said, you're frozen stiff. Let's get you warmed up. Here are some nice blankets. She wrapped Jasmine in 10 layers of blankets. Whoa. But Jasmine did not unfreeze. The school secretary came in and said, you're frozen stiff. Let's get you warmed up. I will go get you a nice cup of hot chocolate. She poured the hot chocolate into Jasmine's mouth. Yum, said Jasmine, but she did not unfreeze. See that one? <laughs> Finally, the caretaker came back. He took one look at Jasmine and said, you're still frozen? Let me see what I can do. He got a huge duster, like a feather duster, and tickled Jasmine under the chin. Jasmine started to laugh. <laughs> and crack! The ice shattered into a million pieces. Oh, she's not frozen anymore. So, the caretaker took her to her class. On the way there, they went past the principal's office. What's the principal doing? He's in his office golfing? <laughs> hey, said the principal, what are you two doing here? There's a blizzard outside and it is not going to stop. So we are having a snow day. Everyone has to go home. <gasps> Wait a minute, said Jasmine. It's pizza day. So, they all went out for lunch and Jasmine sang. Snow in a little or snow in a lot. Winter's okay when you've got help to make you through the bad spots. Winter time is fun. <laughs> Where do you think they're going? Yep, that's right. They're going to get some pizza. <laughs> do you guys like to eat pizza? Me too. Actually, tonight is pizza night for me. Wasn't that a fun story? I love that one. All right, now, in honor of our snow day, I have some snowy crafts for you because what are some things that you need if you're going to play in the snow? Do you need to wear your pajamas? No. Do you need to wear your bathing suit? Definitely not. You need to wear a hat and a scarf and... Here's my nice Canadian ones. Mittens and lots of layers, long sleeve and a sweatshirt jacket over top of that. Lots of layers because it is cold out there today. So I thought we would stay inside and make some of those things. So the first one I have for you is a lovely winter hat that you can make yourself. So all you need for this one is a piece of construction paper. And what I did was kind of see I'll put this together it was kind of like a circle but it was like half of a circle it's a little bit straighter on the bottom but that's where you get your little hat shape and if you have a paper plate at your house you could also do it with a paper plate I just cut this one in half and then you can make that into a hat and you can color that or paint it or do anything you want on there and the one I did it was a blue piece of construction paper and I added, I had some snowflake stickers and then I used some chalk to make some snowflakes on there. And then I had a white paint marker and I put some dots on there with white paint. But what you could do if you had a Q-tip or um, like a cotton swab, you could get some white paint and you could dip it in your paint and then you could put dots on there or you could put stickers or glitter anything that you've got that you want to put on your winter hat then I got some cotton balls and um, if you have some pom-poms that would be great too the little craft pom-poms and this is actually one cotton ball here actually no that's about one and a half cotton balls because if you take your cotton ball it looks like this that one you can put on the top but if you want to some of your cotton balls may be different 
But if you start to kind of unravel it, it kind of goes like this and you can stretch it just a little bit, pull it, it might come apart, but that might help you to get all the way across the bottom of your little hat. And then you're just gonna glue that on there. And there you have your winter hat. But we need other things to go with our winter hat, don't we? How about some mittens? Aren't they cute? You can make these too. So what I did for this one is I had a piece of construction paper in the back and I chose to use blue, but you can use anything you want. And then I used my favorite color, purple. And what you'll do is, actually I'll show you on the here. What you're gonna do is you're going to put your hand on there and then you can get some help to trace your hand or you can do it yourself. And then you've probably done this before where you trace your hand with your hands or your fingers apart, but this time you wanna hold them together. So you're gonna trace around your hand around all fingers at the same time and then have your thumb stick out. So that way you can get the shape of the mitten that you need. And yours will probably be cuter because your hands are smaller, <laughs> but there's mine. And then what I did was I found a really pretty glittery string that I had left over from something else and I glued it onto my paper, kind of like the, um, the mittens that are have a string so you don't lose them. And then I've got some stars. Um, you can put stickers, glitter. I had, I even had some felt hearts that I could have used. Heart stars, anything you have got. Snowflakes, you can paint them. You could put glitter on them. And then I, well, I took that cotton ball and this is just one cotton ball. I stretched it out and I pulled it in half and it made enough for both of my mittens. So there's something that you can do with your mittens. All right, so those are the crafts that I have for you today. And then I've got one more story for you, and then I'm gonna show you a game that you can play on this snowy day. Oh, speaking of that, I have a story called The Snowy Day. There are some snowflakes. I bet you've made snowflakes where you um, get a white piece of paper, fold it up, and then cut out snowflakes. That would be a fun thing to make today, too. Or you can make a snowman, a paper one, or a real one. <laughs> so here is the snowy day. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. I love when I get up and I look outside the window and everything is covered in snow. This book might give you some ideas of some activities and things you can do outside in the snow. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. We don't have quite that much, but maybe if you live in places like um, Chicago or in Canada, you might have that much snow. They even have snow in Greece in, in Europe. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. Do you like that crunchy sound that make, the snow makes? He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his po toes pointing in like that. We have lots of little birdie footprints um, outside our house. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. Wait a minute, three? And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. <laughs> there he goes, making his snow tracks. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. But you can play with your mom and dad, maybe, and have a snowball fight. He made... A smiling snowman and he made snow angels he pretended he was a mountain climber he climbed up 
a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and then slid all the way down. Whee! He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. So are you saving some snow for later? Do you think that'll work? Hmm. Let's see. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. That's what I don't like about being in the snow. I don't like coming back in and everything's all wet. And he thought, and he thought, and he thought about them. So he's thinking about all his fun adventures while he's taking a bath. Before he got back into bed, he looked in his pocket. Hmm. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. And he felt very sad. Where did the snowball go? Yeah, that's right. He went inside and it melted in his pocket and turned back into water. Hmm. So now he's going to bed. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. Aww. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere and new snow was falling. Yay! After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. There he goes with his friend. The end. That sounds like a pretty good snowy day. Okay, I have a game that you can play now. If you're tired of going out into the snow and getting all cold and wet. So what you need for this one is a spoon. It can be a plastic spoon or it can just be a spoon from your kitchen. You need two bowls or two containers. And then you need some cotton balls. If you had some ping pong balls, that would probably work too, but you'd need a bigger bowl. But this is perfect for this game, the cotton balls. This is called snow shoveling. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get someone to start a timer. If you have a phone that um, has a stopwatch, you can use that, or maybe you have a stopwatch. So you're gonna set a timer and you have 60 seconds or one minute to put a spoon in your mouth and you're gonna try to scoop the snowball or the cotton ball from one container into the other one. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you want to try to get, I've put 20 in here, but you can kind of test it out and see um, if you want to put a little bit less or a little bit more. And what you're going to do is you're going to have 60 seconds to get them from this container to this container. And then you can have a competition with your family members or your brothers and sisters and see if you guys can get the most in 60 seconds. And if you find that you're really good, maybe you need to try and do it in 30 seconds. All right, so I'm not gonna do it for the whole 60 seconds. I'm just gonna kinda show you what you're gonna do. So here it goes. So there's how you can play the game. And it is pretty tricky actually. And you have to remember that you can only do one snowball at a time. So if you scoop up two, you gotta kinda shake it until you get um, just one on your spoon. And then you can get it into the other container. So there you go, there's a game that you can play. And some crafts that you can make for this lovely wintry snowy day. That is so much fun. So there you go. Hope you have fun, and if you want to, you can send me pictures to show me what your mittens and hat look like. And when we're, when I lived in Canada, this was called a toque. So if you want to, you can make a toque or a winter hat and gloves, and then you can send me a picture so I can see what yours looks like. All right, have fun outside. Bye, enjoy the snow.